Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for us, the Moon and Rising Capricorns for the month of July 2017. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful month. There's something surprising coming in in this month because both the Sun Rising Capricorns and the Moon Rising Capricorns are working with their own energy vibration. So this is this is strange. This is not always happening, but it is happening for you Capricorns in this month. What is also wonderful is that victory and success is here twice. You have the chariot and you have also the six of wands. So whatsoever that you Capricorns has been going through the 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 um the the healing of the this month a period that you have just gone through it's going to happen in the third week i don't know what it is with you earth sign people whatever it is with you earth sign people there is going to be magical occurrences in the third week because all the earth sign people and i've shuffled the cards over and over again all the earth sign people the third week is a positive 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 time for you um earth sign people the third week and not only that you got back the miracle again in the third week so as i have said go back and listen to i'm not sure if you guys know that the energy of the 13th sign i did a video over the energy of, of this 13th sign go back and watch that video because obviously something is happening planetary there is a planetary shift that is happening with you Capricorns because um, you're going to find out that some of you are Sagittarians okay so um, the changes are beginning to happen in because from this month of July we are all going to see and feel as if we are not who the sign that we were born on the we are vibrating out of the sign to something else. So all the earth sign peoples are going to change to fire sign and a fire sign. So there is a lot of changes where we're going. We're actually um, 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 vibrating uh, behind. We're going behind. We're retrograding. Whatsoever is happening, the planetary systems and that sort of a stuff um, is retrograding. The energies are retrograding. are going backwards because the earth sign people are going to become fire sign people. Okay. Go back and watch the video. The name of it is, is the 13th sign and what effect that does it have. And this has an effect on each and every person out there. Okay. It's going to be wonderful, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And not because uh, um, I want, first of all, to all you Capricorns, thank you. Thank you so much. I was actually wishing and there is a miracle card so I'm still going to do my wishes I was actually wishing to have um, on the 4th of July um, to have a live series on the 1st of July so if you would like to connect with me it's a Q it's a Q and um, it's a question and answer series um, it's going to be on the 4th of July live I want to go live and thanks to you Capricorns because not only that the 4th of July is my anniversary it will be three years uh, yeah two years since I'm doing my videos on YouTube is my second anniversary and um, I want to do something special and I think going live would be a very thing um, a very good thing to do so if you are up for going likes please leave a message thumbs up um, if you're unable if you don't have a uh, if you are not subscribed if you didn't subscribe to this channel then what you can do is just send me an email and say yes yes go live okay yes go live with the go live session I don't know how long is it going to we're going to just see because I don't want to plan that it's going to be a hour or wherever let's see where it goes to okay so I'll be doing this alone so um, this is going to be my first time so let's see how that is going to do if that happens because I would like to do something special this year um, for the two years anniversary and it's going to be on July 4th um, so let's see how that is going to work out and uh, um, because I am in a different location let's see how that will work out because um, we need to do this anyway 
Thank you, you Capricorns. You rock. You really, you, you go girls and boys out there, you Capricorns. And I'm really, really, really want to teach you how to be positive and how to manifest wonderful things in your life because you're going to see that this year, I know you guys are still going through certain aspects, certain things in your life because what is happening to you, Capricorns, is that things are happening behind the veil, your spirit guides. And I'm saying this to you, Capricorns call upon your spirit guides nobody have to know your personal thing call upon them if there's a situation call upon them whatever is happening the third week is going to be a victorious week victory 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 in the third week and in the fourth week vic tree people huge victory whatever this victory is all about the chariot is here some people is going to be victory and it's going to be victory because you have also eight the eight of inner strength and 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 it's going to be victory whatever it is in the third week whatever it is if you have a book publishing in in the third week if whatever it is in the third week it's going to be a huge victory and success for you guys so be aware of this in the third week for you Capricorns in the four weeks is going to be another huge victory and success and it's going to be this victory and success is going to be over love good news is going to come in to you over love over connection over business situation so if you whatever it is doing uh, the, the energy of business um, situations that are coming in it's going to come in in the third week so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive people positive wonderful energies in the third week and fourth week so your best week is going to be the third week and the fourth week so this is just going to be extremely extremely positive i am loving this for you guys because what i'm seeing here is that the energy of the stair is whatever you have started whatever you have hold on to it because this is going to be extremely positive and the second week you have the energy vibration of um, it's, it has to do with work uh, in the second week, and you're you're having clarity of certain things. So, was there trickery? Um, um, victim, you have been a victim of a situation, but it's okay. Let it go. You're seeing clearly what has happened, and it is a situation with your work. Okay something happened that you were a victim of something because people were dishonest and this you're going to see clarity in the second week people were being very dishonest in the second week and clarity is going to come in to that situation and there's a, a lot of major arcana for you guys a lot of major arcana because you have um um the 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 14 um you have uh, the eight which is strength 14 and strength 14 is temperance and you have strength and then you have here the 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 um chariot and you have the six uh, the chariot so uh, yeah you 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 guys really have a lot of major arcana whatsoever is happening with your business if uh, there is a situation um, business wise your business is going to be a perform success okay if you have a book um, that book is going to be a huge success um, if you're connecting in business in a business world if you're going to start doing business with someone else that is also going to be a huge success so whatever is going on with you the deception is in the fourth week deception the liars the haters the people who have been decepting you who have been doing things against you there is going to be a triumphant to these people and that triumphant is going to bring you connecting with some other people with other people and you need to release whatever has happened that people were being jealous and envy release that energy know that it happens because as I've always said when success comes in whether it's inner liquor success or outer success they're always the haters because the ego is going to be there to tell you uh -huh, uh -huh. and the haters people are going to be you are going to have so many people hating you for no reason at all because you have been successful because you have made yourself uh, um, you have the time you they use to be um, you know being deceptive and lying you used it 
to elevate yourself and to bring wonderful possi possibilities in your life and the ambition that you have to strive uh, you never have time for these uh, negative energies of these people so what is what service happened july is going to be a good month first week first two weeks uh, it's going to be the first week is going to be isolation the second week is that you're going to feel um, as if you're a victim of something the third week there is going to be a miraculous change and the fourth week you are just going to um, um, release that 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 envy and jealousy that has taken place so whatever I should say to you Capricorns in the third week a lot of people are going to be asked the ends of marriage that mean your partner are going to ask your hands in marriage whatsoever is happening in the fourth week there is a spiritual connection um, and your and your part it's as if your partner decided this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with so there is going to be an end in marriage um, in the fourth week is can also be promotion for some people and yet still in the fourth week it can also be um, that you're connecting with a business partner and this business partner is going to be a good one for you a right one so love is available in the in the fourth week work is available in the fourth week connect I see co contracts contracts so whenever it comes up to love um, it's going to be people are going to ask you to marry them and I'm sure the next question that you're asking yourself should I yes you should because what is happening here is that it is the right person it is that person that you have been with for a very long time so if you have been in a, a relationship for a very long time there has been ups and downs and the rest of it and this person asks you and your hand in marriage say yes say yes because um, this is the right person for you um, you person have um, gone through whatever it is say yes because it is spiritually guided and in, in, in the ends of love it's it, it is spiritually guided and this is all going to happen in the first the, the fourth week because the first two week of July is going to be the first especially the first week is going to be isolation isolation something happened you feel isolated and the second week it's going to be feeling the victim of something but having balance so um, as we look at the third week the third week is just going to be starting being positive because at the third week uh, you are going to see the energy vibration and in the third week the energy change from water because then we begin the zodiac energy of the month with water and we end the zodiac energy of the month with fire so then you see that the Capricorns um, your zodiac energy vibration is going to change to the earth sign and that is the earth sign of fire and that it, that you're going to really see coming up that is going to be coming up so the energy vibration for you Capricorn for the month of July is going to be the star and the energy of the star is a wonderful energy because the energy of the star in a month is really affecting each and every person in different ways so be aware of this this is going to be extremely wonderful the energy of the star the zodiac energy is the hair you're starting out the week with a water energy everyone the month with a water energy and you're ending the month with a fire and the two last week in the month of July is going to be your most favorite okay the best weeks are going to be the two last week in the month of July whatsoever that was happening another thing that I wanted to um, let you guys know for the zodiac people the Sun moon and rising Capricorns your own energy vibration came out this has never happened in all my readings this has never ever happened and this is a sign that the universe and your spiritual beams because obviously it's the month of the stars so the intergalactic beings the cosmic energies and all these sort of things are coming out and this is what they're doing they are um, connecting you and letting you be awakened that you should connect with your spiritual beams so whenever this sort of a thing happen it's like um, a miraculous um, thing that is happening so this is 
wonderful and this is positive so this is good this is good guys it's gonna be a long reading but it's time for it okay as I gave you a breakdown of your week what your week it will be looking a light let me look at your numbers because the energy is uh, seven is deception um, that's a five that's an eight uh, um, that's a four um we have a six and this is strange because uh, you um, the the you earth sign people in this month is not getting the energy vibration you're getting more of releasing and healing this is a five this is a eight 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 eighty eight people eighty eight wow this is wonderful so 88 in, in the eight is infinity abundancy so um you guys have the number 88 which is a very very positive as i've said to you guys i will be leaving messages and honestly i'm taking notes at the same time i'm doing your readings so again the number eight which is infinity and um is 88 because you have twice eight so this is three times eight so this is a positive positive and it is for you guys so this is good this is going to be wonderful i've always said i take notes and now i'm really taking notes so um you know this is good okay finally 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 there is a movement there's movements and choices and decision in the first week this is the energy vibration of the first week and this is positive because there you are seeing the different colors and the different elements and one thing you should do because movement is the number two movement is the energy vibration of duality um, it's always about the number two energies and in this it's movement choices and decisions so there's going to be a lot of movements going on a lot of choices that you have to make and a lot of decisions that you have to make Use the rainbow color in this week, people, because this is going to help you, whatever it is. Use the rainbow color. As you look at the blue, the blue, the skies come out, and the other energy vibration is isolation. So whatsoever is happening to you, Capricorns, out there, there's going to be a lot, a sense of isolating yourself, or you are going to be protecting yourself from something, whatever it is. You are planning of making some movements, and you're planning choices, decisions in your life do that because um, I'm getting the energy vibration for some people it is time that you move away from where you are um, it is it is so it is the um, it's, it's not the it's not the people I think it's that you need to be on your own you know that sort of a thing or you need to be with your partner in um, maybe you were at your parents house and you were sharing for a time and it's now you have gotten a job your partners have a job and it's time that you move on to for you guys to be in your own energy vibration you know there is too much um influence there's too much people who are um having a, a sort of a attack on you or something like that i'm getting also some of you should change your phone so whatever is going on or change your phone number for some people i am um i'm also getting the energy vibration that it changes a lot of changes a lot of changes because you can see it's movement and changes and decision a lot of you are thinking of making new decision in the first week this week the first week is that you're isolating yourself because you are planning a move and you need to make the right decision and get everything you're holding on to whatever you have or whatever it is so for pentacles um, so your materialistic things you're holding on to it I'm getting the energies that some people want to do something either sell something or buy something and they're saying no I'm not doing it it's not the right time so in the spirit of isolation isolation doesn't mean that some people are depressed and no so isolation is the time when you take back and you step back from the world and you start planning this is a good uh, week for writers because if you're a writer this is a good week where by um, doing this isolation because the energy vibration of uh, the spirit world the intergalactic beings the cosmic um, guides are here your spirit world is a week of highly um interaction with the spirit world and that sort of a thing and the the the, the um 
the galactican beams and that sort of a thing and you are going to be in isolation in the first week whatever is happening you're going to be in totally solitude isolation because you're planning your move and you're planning um, um, to change choices movement I'm seeing coming up for most of you whatever you have your materialistic position you're going to be holding on to it because obviously um, when you're holding on a money that means you are saving you're saving for something and some people could be saving to buy a new house some people could be saving to buy a new car but you're holding on to money because you're planning a move you're planning to do something you're planning a move and you're holding on to your money what's the average happening the star energy the energy of the star and you have two times the energy of the star coming in so whatsoever is happening in that first week um, it's as if you're protected by the universal angels and guides okay you're protected by the universal angels and guides so this is extremely wonderful for you Capricorns okay okay um, the second week is going to be a wonderful promising a week if I can see without my glasses because I'm kind of tired so I think um, that's it um, we have a major uh, uh, corner we have patience patient have patient so obviously there is something going on in you Capricorn's life because in the second week you're having patience having patience meaning just wait because whatsoever you want is going to come to you because it's you know sometimes you really dream of something it, just have patience because it's going to come to you just take the time off because the first week is movement and choices and isolation so in the first week you were planning your way and the second week it's saying have patience have patience you girl have patience have patience you Capricorns out there whatsoever is happening you're going to whatever you wish for and it's in your blueprint or you know it doesn't really matter what people do the universe step in okay so whatever you're worried about or whatever you just need to have patience because whatever you need is going to come to you um, you're feeling as if you're a victim of something you know do not yeah and, and, I, and I, I, I know I can't say do not I'm not supposed to tell you do not but you're finally seeing clarity to a situation you are finally seeing clarity to a situation you know and this is why they were saying be patient because whatsoever that was happening and you were feeling as if you're a victim of something they are saying to you now be patient whatever is happening be patient you're not a victim you're seeing a situation from the vet a better view of this situation so be patient and it has been a situation with work and you need to understand and you need to be aware that whatsoever that has been happening in the situation of work you were a victim to a situation at your work but it, it is okay you're seeing clarity to the situation you have been a victim to a situation at your work and now you're seeing clarity to a situation and this this is extremely good because whenever you uh, take isolation to look at situation and plan your way out and that sort of a thing and you are seeing now that by having um, 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 patient and um, you know realizing that you are were a victim to a situation that went on at your workplace, you're seeing clarity to this situation and how um, you being victimized uh, um, um, brought certain. Um, situation in your life because people did something that um, that was against uh, your uh, who you are as a person and you know people at you know people at your work and this is what I've always realized I don't gossip I think gossip is just um, I think if you have something to say to someone you should just um, say it to them you know and I always um, say whatever I say behind people back I can say in front of them because that's my energy vibration that's that's who I am not everyone is like that because some people are afraid to say exactly how they feel about certain uh, situation and certain things but sometimes you see the situation that people speak badly about other people on the work floor and that sort of a thing and 
sometimes I look at it and I I I just say to the people you know and it's sometimes you know it's it's not easy being on the work for to be honest but it's different people who you have to work with and these are cosmic situation that are coming in and you were victimized because sometimes the nicest person on the work floor can get the end of a stick and this is what happened to some of you out there but be patient because this is really going to clear up as we look at the uh, third week which is a wonderful positive week the third week the third week has to do with something of a book or secrets uh, a book or secrets okay and you have in a strength you have in a strength in the third week so you have to have inner strength about the situation and with that inner strength the energy of miracles come so um, you're seeing that you're working on yourself you're working on things you were victimized uh, you were um, ridiculed or whatsoever the situation was but it was not a positive um, situation that people had brought in your life but some of it was because of you need to to clear a certain energy vibration of these people so you know you are the victim but you clear the energy vibration whenever you are a victim in a situation that means you have cleared the energy vibration of other people because you being a victim is that you are the honest and 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 the, you are the most honest and pure one of a situation and that's why you have become the victim because always the honest and pure people they're always the one that becomes the victim and then the third week what it is saying is that find your inner strength so you have um, temperance and find your inner strength and by finding your inner strength there is going to be a miraculous healing to whatsoever that happened a very miraculous healing so expect a miracle and you're going to be triumphant because the end of it is the end the final end people the curtain has draw and you are going to be victorious and successful okay so in the, f the third week uh, find that inner strength and you're going to be a victory you're going to be victorious and successful over the situation you're going to be extremely victorious and successful over the situation I don't know what it is people but I the energy of the ring is <laughs> it's always on my hand so a lot of people are going to get married a lot of people new contracts new business contracts uh, new contracts in love new business contracts is coming in so whatever it is because uh, the energy of the ring whatever is happening a secret or it, it, it doesn't have really have to have a, a secret but if if people have something a secret something is going to come out and you're going to be victorious and successful over this what is whatsoever is going to come out because something you were a victim of a situation you were a victim of a situation at your work because it's showing where this victimization happened and it was at your work and um, because of this you found the inner strength and you found the inner strength and miraculously you found the inner strength and with miracles you are going to victoriously um, um, come out of the situation like if something happened at your work and you were being judged unjustly something is going to come out information is going to come out that they are going to realize that you are a victim you were a victim of a situation and wow this is beautiful you Capricorn so whatever injustice that you have faced at your work because it's at your work it is showing me here that it's at your work I'm seeing that there was a situation at your work and you were the victim and this has cost you um, a lot this has cost you a lot and what is, is, is coming out here is that in the third week there is going to be within a strength there is going to be a light being shed because the energy and trust me people I don't know what's going on with you earth sign people but miracles has come up in the third week for all the earth sign people and I've shuffled the cards over and over again miracle so obviously the universal angels is helping you um, 
earth sign people with something in the third week the situation that has ha happened at your work and they're going to help you and you are going to be victorious and successful you're going to come out triumphant over the situation a huge triumph over the situation and it is going to bring out it is as if a secret something with a miraculous um, out stem of something a secret came out and it's going to bring you victory and success in the third week so the third week is one of your most positive positive week the third week is one of your most positive week okay it's a bit dark in here so I have to get the light darlings okay we're moving on and um, this is very this is a significance because there is obviously something going on for you Capricorns in the fourth week we had two energies it hasn't happened for anyone it has happened for you Capricorns there was deceive and envy and it's in the reverse form and I'm seeing this because I've shuffled the cards and I've seen this in another air sign deceive and envy in the reverse form so whatsoever that has happened and taken place in your life uh, with you being a victim of a situation it was deceive and envy and this really do happen to people because um, people who are deceived and envious will do things you will never imagine. A quiet person never trusts a quiet person. You know, trust the person who has the big mouth and always laughing and always talking and speaking about themselves, not the gossipers. There's a difference between um, the gossipers because they are just creating. Um, karma and um, chaos for other people but people who just speak out and just you know never think about what they're saying sometimes it hurts other people but sometimes it's just a message that that person has to give out but whenever someone is really quiet don't trust them because quiet people can be devious not all of them I'm saying this not all of them but they can be extremely devious and um, have you ever wonder why they're quiet but anyway let's go deception and envy whatever you have gone through with a situation at your work it is because of deception and envy someone had um is jealous and envious of you and that is the reason why you were a victim to a situation okay and this is a soul this is coming from a, the, the, the energy vibration of a soul it, it was something you were a victim to help other people to clear their karmas because this is soul. This is this is two. These are people clearing their karmas. They're putting their head together for a healing. My son always do this to me. Always, my my son always always because he's longer than I am, and I'm so short, and he's always putting his forehead on my forehead. I don't know why, and I sort of research it, and I realized that it was healing. There is a healing. It's healing when you put your forehead to somebody else's forehead. Not because I tell you that some people just do it automatically without knowing, and it's their angels and guides are bringing them together for a powerful healing. And when you do that, you both of your auras go together, and it's as the un the universal, the cosmic angels and the angels and guides they heal you by doing that. You know, so if you think because of this message you're going to do it then that's not how it works it just comes automatically because my son always do it to me and um, I know we we have so many healing to do so okay so it's going to be a healing and um, whatever you were big you're a victim of a situation and this um, victim victimization of this situation was because of envy and jealous there were people who were envy and jealous of what you have and really people I'm telling you this because I've been through it uh, people can just dislike you because you um, you have certain things and, and people will go to the ends to make you look bad trust me trust me on this one okay and people are envious because they think that you have this and you shouldn't have had this no one you nor no one out there um, make the choices for another person because each and every one have our own blueprint okay 
if it was meant for you you're not going to have it if it was meant for you then it's you're going to have it and despite whoever in the universe think that you are not no it's in your blueprint and whatsoever is in your blueprint is yours and there's a lot of people that just hate people and being jealous and envy why are you going to hate me being jealous and envy when you don't know what is my story and how much I've gone through in my life you know so see this um, uh, envy and deceit when people are envy and with deceit that mean they're working on the lower energy vibration and there is so much people that are doing that and this is why I am changing the energy vibration because I've been through all these situations and I'm trying to help people to understand and to heal people that you you know whatever it may be happening and whatever and however you have play a victimized role stand up for whatever is of injustice to you stand up but stand up with um, confidence and respect for the other person but say no this is where I draw the line I am not accepting that okay and what you know then you ask the universal energy you ask for a miracle because you're going to be victorious and trans big but in the fourth week you realize that this was because of envy envious people envious and uh, deceitful people what has that created this situation in your life envious and deceitful people who had create this situation in your life and then you're going to release release people release and I'm telling you when you release that mm, you will feel so much better when you release all of that release it release it you know saying goodbye negative people you know I always do it the bun haters you know? <laughs> and, and and I you know it is because I need to you know I've changed my whole entire life and uh, and and you need to change your whole entire life okay it's not about me it's about us as Capricorn it's about us who have been the victim of a situation it's about us who have been just unjustly um, accused it's about us who as Capricorns who have been who have gone through a situation that was beyond the the scope of normal human um, awareness and uh, we are going to be healed and the healing is taking place in the month of July so at last week release 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 that um, feeling of victimization release it because it was only brought up because it was a karmatic situation that you were working out with people and it was caused or this envy and deception envy and deception there are people who even your own um, family can be envious of you I've learned that and I've learned that in a very hard way and not all of us even your own family and people who connect with um, people in your family can be envy and jealous of you and this is what caused um, um, victimization because other people try to victimize you okay so release that it's the end of that situation for some people maybe some people will be working out this in another three months ending it but for some people there's going to be a huge ending release it say goodbye negative people and you move on with your life okay honestly that's that's I have changed um, and you have to learn to change your energy vibration when whenever you have gone through a victimization thing do not play the victim role don't do that no don't do that you're going to stand up for yourself okay whatever way you so here we are you're yeah, going back to the Capricorn so we're going to look at the love energies in this month for you Capricorns It's going to be a lot of love a lot of people are going to be asked within the ends of marriage a lot of contracts a lot of good contracts a lot of wonderful energies are coming in for you Capricorns in the sense of love work and business a lot of wonderful um, energies the energies of miracle is here so people learn to ask for a miracle because this month there are miracles you have to believe whatever the isolation is in the first week is that you're planning you're planning a move for you Capricorns and uh, 
um, whatever victimization that has happened to you it's because of envy grief and jealous okay envy and jealous okay let's look and see what you Capricorns have for your love Woo. okay 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 love okay um the page of Pentacles someone is coming in they're bringing in money they're bringing in money it's finally you're seeing a something that has been happening um the you in the first week let's look at the first week in the love scenario in the first week whatsoever is happening you um, women or men are going to meet someone of the energy vibration of the Pentacles so it can be the energy of the Taurus um, Taurus um, of the uh, energy of the Virgos okay and you this is a relationship that is going to um, be blessed this is a blessed relationship and it's going to last for a very very long time so maybe you are promising to move in with this um, Virgo of, or of, of Taurus person and it is a good relationship it's going to be okay you're planning on doing a move with this person so it's going to be um, very promising, okay? As shh, oh, oh, shh, uh, shh, as sorry, as we go on with this reading, and we're looking at the energy vibration of two, four, six, eight, nine, the nine of ones. Um, what is happening is that some people are protecting their art. In the second week there's a lot of people who are protecting their art a lot of people who are protecting their arts in the um, in the in the um, second week okay as we move on to the third week a lot of people are in limbo in the love because they're working out the situation that they were victimizing so it's not a month of love for most of you people it's it's just a month of you working on yourself working on a situation that you were victimized and um, and in the last week it's all about money it is all about money the energy of the devil is in reverse it's all about money um, you have the energy two four six eight um, you have the energy of money uh, in the last week so you know whatever is happening whatever is happening you people should understand that what whatever is happening not all the time you're going to feel love in a month um, the love is going to come in in the last week of the month because uh, a lot of people are going to be Alex in the ends of marriage that's sort of a thing so um, you're going to see this happening okay business is going to be wonderful whatever whether you're working for someone whether it's your own business or this it's going to be perfectly wonderful okay we're going forward and um, what is happening for the Sun moon and rising sign we're going forward for the Sun moon and rising sign and what is happening for the Sun sign Capricorns we have the energy vibration of the Aries and we also have the energy vibration of the Capricorns and you Capricorns whether you Sun Capricorns are working with the energy vibration of the Aries and the Capricorns okay so a lot of Aries people and a lot of Capricorn peoples are going to be coming in your life to work with you you Sun people the Saturnus is going to change your your career whatsoever is happening Saturn is in your planet Saturn is working with you guys on your career Saturn is the planet that is your um, your prominent planet Saturn your Capricorn so you work with planet and you're the Sun sign Capricorn so um, Saturn is here working with you your most of you are going to be changing your careers and not only that but you'll be working with Aries people fire people so whatsoever is happening with careers and with the fire people and the fire people sign you are going to see um, this happening for you guys as we go to the moon um, rising Capricorns that those are the people who were born between the hours of uh, um, 6 um, in the evening and 6 a.m. in the morning we have the energy vibration of the Aquarius the Aquarius is working um, the Aquarius said uh, that you moon people the Aquarius are really psychic people so this is a 
a, a reason the Aquarius whoever um, is um, was born in the night you'll be working with a lot of Aquarian people and um, this could be building new business this could be also connecting with Aquarians and this sort of a thing so this is perfectly wonderful because what you're realizing is that these Aquarians and um, ha are working um, with um, Uranus and Uranus is a planet that help you um, to kind of um, balance certain um, spiritual aspect of yourself and you Capricorns and also you'll be working also with the energy of the Capricorns because um, uh, um, you'll be working also with some Capricorns because this Capricorn card comes up and it is was in the middle of the Sun moon and rising so that means um, other Capricorn people or the planetary system because Saturn Saturnus is here and he governs uh, the planet of Saturn your um, career he he's working with both the Sun moon and rising sign so you will be working with the Aquarius and uh, a lot of Aquarians people or people with Aquarius Sun Moon and Rising sign to bring in positive energy so this is going to be good so this is wonderful it's a, it's a profound time in your life this is a wonderful positive energy so this is the energy of the moon sign people so you be working with your own zodiac of the Capricorns but you're also working with the Aquarians okay we have the last and final card as we move on in the month of um, uh, Tinger we have the last and final card and it fell out so I'm doing this one so it says uh, re revenge and it is the divine union in a silent spiritual de uh, devotion so this is good it is all about the divine union in a silent spiritual devotion okay what is the benefits of this it's the cultivate inner awareness reduce stress and blood pressure and also assist prayer and devotion so this is good for you Capricorns because you guys are really a uh, spiritual um, people you put your hands in the form of praying and this is going to be what you can work with in this month of July the instruction is to put the palm to palm join the hands together in front of the heart center in front of your heart center with all the fingers touching and pointing upwards okay and the focus for you guys is that I bow with reverence to the divine heart within I bow with reverence to the divine heart within I bow with reverence to the divine heart within okay and I want to say thank you for being here this has been a wonderful month it's going to be a promising month and I'm saying goodbye until next week